Hello traders, FS Pepperetti here. Today is Friday, January 5th, and I'm going to be analyzing pound yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So the pound yen is pushing up pretty hard, and we do not have a break of structure, so I mean, this possibly could just keep on trending up, and it possibly could still be a wave three. I honestly wouldn't be surprised at all if it eventually ended up looking like this, finishing a wave three. Making a wave four and then making a wave five. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. Now on the weekly time frame, like I said, the important thing is that it never broke such to the downside, which is why I still say that this could possibly just keep on going up and it could still possibly be a wave three. Now logically, you would think this would be an A, this would be a B, and it would go down again for a wave C, and it would be a wave four, and then it would go back up for a wave five. But with that, the fact that we do not have a structure break tells me that it may more likely just keep on going up. So either way, let's head down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I do have this marked as a wave A because, I mean, it does look like a trend. It does look like it's making three waves up. If it bounces off a fib level, makes an impulsive move down, we'll know this is an A, B, C, or B, and we'll be prepared to go sort for the wave C. But like I said, it may just keep on trending up, and luckily, I would be looking for longs if I thought the daily time frame was in a wave B, and then if it just keeps on trending up and I'm already looking for longs, that should definitely not create a problem for me at all. If anything, I would just make more money if it just kept on trending up. So going down to the four hour time frame, like I said, this looks like a trend. I think right here is the end of a wave A possibly. And the fact that this has one, two, three waves up makes me think that we're forming like a flat pattern because I see three waves up, I see three waves down, and it looks like it's forming five waves up. So if this is 335, then most likely it is a flat pattern. Most likely it will go up to like the 61.8, making a positive move down, make a break of structure, proving that it's an A, B, C, or B, and then most likely continue it back down for that bigger wave C. So let's take it right down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, I think we're still at a wave three, especially looking at correlated pairs. So the next move down is probably going to be a corrective wave four. This is probably a wave three. Some place down here we have a one and a two, and I think eventually it will go back up for a wave five. Now, until we actually get that break of sorts into the downside, I would definitely, definitely not be trying to go short. This wave three could just keep on trending, especially if we are in the continuation of the uptrend on the higher time frames, like I was explaining on like the daily, weekly, and monthly. So I would definitely be looking for longs until I get a break of structure down. And even when I get a break of structure, it's probably just going to be another corrective wave four and eventually go back up for that wave five. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.